Hi guys, let's look into one of the questions that came out in paper 2 2016 for trigonometry. Okay, this question um, it says that the diagram shows a cuboid, HD is 3 cm and EH is 5 and BH is 7. They want you to calculate the length of C to E. So for you to calculate the length of C E, um, you need to calculate your CH first where you can see this triangle. Okay, so that it's very easy for us to calculate this hypotenuse of C E if we have the length of CH. So basically if this 7 EF is 7, your DC also is equal to 7 cm. So we are going to calculate your CH first. So for you to get the length of CH, I'm going to use Pythagoras theorem formula where my 3 square I'm going to add on with my 7 square so that I have 9 plus with 49, I got 58 third and if you press your calculator you have 7.616. This is the length of CH. The moment you have the length of CH, where this is your E and this is your H, this is your C. So your CH is 7.616 and your length of EH is 5. And we are going to calculate your EC, right? The question wanted to calculate CE, right? It's the same thing. Where your CE will be is the length between 5 and 7.616. I'm going to use Pythagoras theorem again. So 5 square, I'm going to add on with 7.616 square. So to press this in your calculator, you will get 9.11. So that will be your final answer as you have to leave your answer in three significant figures. Okay, moving on to the next one. The question wants you to calculate the angle between CE and the base of CDHG. So CE is the one that we have already highlighted in the yellow. So the base they have, they have mentioned here is the one that at the bottom here. So the angle that is actually uh, appearing between the base and also uh, CE is the one that angle that I have highlighting right now, which is this the one that we are going to calculate. Okay, so basically we are going to calculate the angle ECH. So I'm drawing out the triangle to C. So we are going to calculate the angle E C H. Okay. So we have already know that the length of H e H is five, and we have also know that your C H we have calculated just now, which is seven point six one six. But I'm going to use fifty eight since I to get a uh, accurate answer. So since this is the you can use a um, what we call sokatwa to get the answer so this is your opposite and this is your adjacent so that i'm going to use tangent so tangent will be opposite over adjacent so 5 out of 58 so if you press this in your calculator you will have 33.3 so since this is the angle i'm going to take my answer to one decimal place 